Hi, this is Paolo from DMB Academy, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create bases like the ones in the track Acolyte by Bunshin. So this is the original version. And this is my version. Now I know it's not the exact same sound, but I think the value resides in the principles that create this sound, because you can easily go back into the patch and change some stuff like this. And get different sounds. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos, and if you want to get access to the preset and the project files from this video, you can become a member of the preset pass subscription. The link is in the description below. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I am with an initialized patch and the first sound we're going to be creating is the noise hit, which sounds like this. So the principles to create this sound are pretty simple. We can start with a sine wave and some noise and distort these two together like this. Let's add a multiband compressor and add some gain. And then we can do something like EQing everything but the noise. Like that. We can play with the distortion. And we can even change the waveform that distorts the noise. For example, we can bring it one octave down. Or up. Or two down. Or we can even create a reasoning effect, for example, by bringing two sine waves and detuning them. There are a lot of different options to create noises. In this case, we're going to keep it simple and just keep the sine wave and the noise. We can change the noise sample. And this is going to be the noise layer. Now we can duplicate this patch. And on this copy, we're going to cut everything but the sub. So it's going to be the inverse of the other one. So let's set the low pass filter, bring it down. And we're going to bring the drive down. We're going to remove the multiband option of the compressor. We're going to turn off the noise. And we're going to bring the gain down. And so now we have a sub. And if we mix the two layers, we now have the noise hit. And again, as I said in the beginning of the video, the principles behind the sounds are what really matters. So for example, we can go back into the noise patch and we can change the waveform. We can add the detuning effect. And that's how you can get many different noises. So now let's jump into the next patch. Okay, so here I have another initialized serum and the principle behind this sound is to add harmonics progressively into a sine wave using FM, noise and distortion. So let's begin with a sine wave on oscillator A. Then let's turn on oscillator B. Bring the level all the way down because we want to run FM from oscillator B. Let's add the warping mode on oscillator A. And that's kind of the movement that we want to create into the sound. But let's make sure we have a sine wave into oscillator B. Let's click on this button to go into the wavetable editor. Add a sine wave by placing one harmonic on bin number one. And we can experiment with the octave that we put here. And that's kind of the movement that we want. So we want to automate this FM knob. So how we're going to do it is something like this. And then we're going to add some sub and noise. We're going to map an LFO into a level of oscillator A and create a plug shape. And also we're going to map it into the noise. Make the shape. Set it on envelope. Next, we're going to go into the effects section and add some distortion. 
Nice. We're going to add a filter and we're going to automate the cutoff of this filter. Like this. So in your DW, it should have a shape like this. And now we're going to jump into the important part, which is the harmonics. So let's bring the octave of oscillary all the way down to zero. And now let's play with the harmonics editor. So let's click on the wavetable editor, click on this button to translate the harmonics, and then add our own ones. That is a great start already. So now let's jump into some post processing for this patch. So the first effect we're going to add is an EQ. And this EQ is going to work, so we're boosting to add more harmonics into the sound. Then we're going to add some overdrive distortion. And the function of this is to distort certain frequencies. For example, this one is very focused on the mids. And if you're not an Ableton user, you can use something like Fab Filter, Saturn, or Trash 2. Something that allows you to focus the distortion on a specific frequencies. Next, we're going to add some reverb. And we're going to automate the dry and wet, just like in the track. So it goes from dry to very wet. Just like that. Next, we're going to saturate everything. There you go. We're going to add an OTT to mess with the faces of the sound a lot and to bring the tails of everything, including the noise and the reverb. If the sound is too intense, we can go back into the patch and play with the different harmonics. We can remove this one. And now let's, let's see. Looks like the noise is too much, so let's bring it down. It also feels like we cut it too much with the initial position of the filter. So let's go into the automation. And let's bring it up. It also feels that the sub is too strong, so let's bring the sub oscillator down. And as you can see, playing with the different elements allows you to really shape this sound. So now let's keep going with the post processing. We're going to add one more EQ to boost the specific frequencies. In this case, we're going to add some noise. And add harmonics in the mids. Next, we're going to add some chorus to widen the sound a bit. And that is going to be the end of our chain. So once again, following the principles is what really makes this sound. So for example, we know that our sound is a combination of noise, an FM layer, and some sub. And all of that is bringing together with distortion. So we can play with the amount of distortion. And have a different movement. We can play with the amounts of sub and with the different combinations of harmonics. And we can also tweak the filter. To help us with the movement. We can also change the FM amount. And as you can see, this sound has many possibilities. So how we can leave it is we can boost the octave of oscillator B. Tame some of the harmonics here. and bring down the movement of the FM.
And so after a bit of fine tuning, we get that sound. And once again, you can go all day into experimenting with the harmonics. So that's gonna be it for this sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. If you wanna get access to the preset and the project files, remember that you can become a member of the preset pass subscription. The link is in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.